So we're now up to part 8 of this tutorial series where we're building a quiz application with AngularJS. And in this video, we're going to refactor the code in our list controller to take advantage of the new factory that we built in the last video. So we'll start off by injecting our quiz metrics factory into our list controller. So we do that by referencing our list controller function and using an angular method called dollar sign inject and then setting that equal to an array and inside that array we pass in everything we want to inject so we want to inject quiz metrics and of course if we wanted to pass in other things we could just pass them in there and that would work fine but we don't need to so we'll just leave it as quiz metrics and then we come down into our controller and pass it an argument of quiz metrics and this will allow us to come down and bind onto the view model the quiz metrics object so this quiz metrics here is what's passed into the controller by the factory which will be this object which we need to return for this to work so we'll return it so when that factory returns the quiz obj object, it's passed into here, and then we're just creating another property on our view model with the same name, quiz metrics, and setting that equal to that object. And then using vm.quizmetrics, we have access to everything on this object, which in this case, right now, it's just this quiz active property, which is the exact same as this. So we can remove that. And now down here, we're referencing vm.quizactive, which doesn't exist anymore. So we can delete that. And we could just say vm.quizmetrics.quizactive equals true. And that would work just fine. But what I'm going to do is create a function that we'll put into our quiz obj here that will allow us to change the state of this quiz active flag. And that just keeps the logic for this inside this factory rather than having a flag here and then the logic to change it inside something else, which doesn't make sense. We have the flag or the property on here and then the function that will change it is also encapsulated in the same object. It just makes a bit more sense. So we'll come into here and we'll just create another method on here and we'll just call it change state. And we'll set that equal to a named function called change state. And then we'll come down here to the bottom and we'll create our change state function. And of course, we'll pass in the new state. And then we'll say quiz obj dot quiz active equals state. So now we have this change state object that allows us to change the state of the, the quiz. And then from inside this activate quiz, we simply call quiz metrics dot change state and pass in true. So now notice here, we just said quiz metrics dot change state and not vm dot quiz metrics dot change state. And the reason for that is we're still inside this function. So we still have direct access to whatever's passed in, which we called quiz metrics. We set vm.quizmetrics equal to quiz metrics so we can have access to this object inside our view. So if we're inside the HTML in here and we want access to anything on that factory object, we have to bind it to the view model. And we do that by setting it on a property on the view model. 
but because this is inside the function still, we have direct access to the quiz metrics object. So we don't need to reference it using VM dot. We can just reference it directly using quiz metrics. And then recalling the change state, setting it to true. So now we can come back into our list controller. And then instead of saying list dot quiz active, we say list dot quiz metrics dot quiz active. So now we're referencing this from inside the view. So that's why we had to set it on the view, which is giving us access to this object and we're finding the quiz active flag. So list dot quiz metrics dot quiz active. Now if we hop back into here, hopefully if we click start quiz, it disappears. So our functionality now has caught up to where we were. We're now just using the factory. If we refresh. So now we want to leave our list controller and go into our quiz controller. So we'll go into our quiz controller. And again, we want to do the same thing in here. We want to take the quiz controller and we want to inject and we're injecting the quiz metrics factory. And then here we want quiz metrics. We'll put that in there. And then down here we'll say VM dot quiz metrics equals quiz metrics. So this is exactly the same as in our list controller. But now we have access to the quiz metrics from inside the quiz controller. So we can come down to our quiz controller and then say ng show. So of course, when the quiz active flag is true, we want to show the quiz controller. So we'll use ng show instead. And then we can reference quiz dot because we're inside the quiz controller. Quiz metrics dot quiz active. And then we'll just put some some text into here, say an H1 that says quiz into there. So we can tell when this is loaded. So we'll save that and we'll save the quiz controller. Come into here and we can see that our list controller is being displayed. And we hit start quiz and the list controller disappears. And we're now shown that H2 that says quiz. So now we're sharing that data between the quiz controller and the list controller using our factory. So now in the next video, we're going to create the markup to display each of the questions. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.